So, here's how I'm gonna do this. Yes, I haven't recorded a video since last year, but I'm gonna be like Nathan Zed and I'm just gonna pop back in and I'm gonna say my piece. <laughs> There's a going on right now. And uh, I've been working from home for, I guess you could say about a month now. Like, I have been working from home since mid-March? mid to end of March and now it's April 17th when I'm recording this um, and you know it's been crazy and I yeah mm -hmm. and really I wanted to make this video because I'm trying to deal with not just this new normal but how to function in this new normal I'm an introvert so being by myself is something that I'm not I don't really have a problem with but I can see that the way this pandemic is affecting the world is affecting how I feel and you know I'm not gonna lie I'm a little scared because of what we are going through as human beings throughout this entire world but to battle the lows that I'm feeling I personally need to make things I need to be focused on creating things whether that's creating time for me to read or whether that's creating an actual video but I just need to focus on making something so that I can be okay and listen if you're someone that doesn't feel like this is a time for you to like be more productive and stuff like that that's totally understandable this is a crazy time but if you are one of those people who feels like you need something to do so that you don't get too lost in your thoughts and your feelings, by all means, go ahead and do that. I actually made a blog post about some things you can do um, while you're in quarantine. But that was just like an, supposed to be geared towards people who felt like they wanted something to do. But if you want to take this time to just sit, chill, meditate, take a bath, just not do anything, go on. Don't do, don't, don't do anything. Don't do that. Don't stress your nerves. But personally for me, I have a lot of creative projects that I wanted to do this year. Like for instance, I'm writing a book and my plan was to publish it this year. And I'm still going to do it. And uh, I know that books aren't considered an essential product, at least by Amazon right now, because you know, people need to order products such as food um, or like household items and surgical masks that are considered essential items and things like that. But I'm still gonna write this story and I'm still gonna figure out how to make it available to you guys. Um, like I'm still gonna make it available for sale when I do get to the point of publishing it, but I want to I want to share this story. And it doesn't matter if I delay it a year or anything like that because as we can as you can see, like one day everything can be fine and then the next day crazy stuff can happen. I didn't expect that my world would be upside down like this. That our world as human beings would just flip all around like this. Um, but I, for me, I'm trying to take time to focus on different creative endeavors. Like this month, April, April haha, this month of April is Camp NaNoWriMo, and that's a National Novel Writing Month, but this is a time uh, outside of November where you get to write and you can go in a virtual cabin and write with other people and I've been working on the same project for the past few years but you know what hey that's how it goes that's how it goes sometimes and my plan is to take my book Guardians of Mass and Memory and finish it this year I've already went through the steps of um, revising it uh, I took a developmental editing class so I knew how to look back at my story as an editor and think about the things that I needed to fix so right now I'm taking those notes and I'm rewriting the story and it is very slow going I have less than 3,000 words written and I'm halfway through April but you know what that's the struggle and the struggle is real writing is hard you know it's hard um, but I'm not gonna give up uh, I have my notes I have my little drafts. I know what I'm trying to say, but the struggle is trying to figure out exactly how to say it. 
but I'm not gonna give up on I'm using April as my month of writing so that's what I'm focusing on and then as far as things to follow up on throughout the year next month I'm going to, you know, of course, keep rewriting and stuff like that, but my main focus is going to be something else because when Udemy had a giant flash sale, I just like bought a bunch of classes that were for cheap and I want to learn digital art and I've already started these things, but I like picked up with some courses and stopped in other places because it's I've been overwhelmed, um, not just with this pandemic but with my own feelings and my own life and different things so I'm just taking time to make each month a step for myself so this is the month of writing tomorrow I'll be focusing on art and then throw writing in there you know and still try to have like a regimented schedule for myself in this time of uncertainty and craziness I would encourage you to do whatever it is you need to do to heal and to feel better and that doesn't matter if that means having a productivity fest and that doesn't matter if that means like crying sometimes it doesn't matter do what you need to do to heal you know watch funny videos uh, laugh you know connect with people have a Skype call with people that you haven't seen in a while you know do what it is you need to do to heal and don't let this moment in time steal your joy. All right, thanks for coming to the Ebony Escape and I hope y'all have a good one. Bye.